and good morning. Time to wake up on this Tuesday morning. Let me go right ahead and rat somebody out. Uh, don't lie. Someone uh, fell asleep to not at fall asleep. before the game was over. Went to bed, thought they were lost. What a loyal fan. Shut up. It in. <laughs> yeah, I was going to tell that story. Shut up's in the house this morning for all you folks been texting me, want to know how Shut up's doing. Actually, he's handling it better than I thought. After he slapped his wife and daughter, he, they kicked him out of the house, so he's been sleeping outside. Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. These are my uh, panel today. Zach coming in to talk sports on the way to work. Donnie, our political analyst. And Tom, I'm staying up all night hoping Romney takes it, and I do too. That's the only good thing I got out of this. Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us on this Tuesday morning. This is Athens in the AM, and as my lovely current bride just told y'all, <laughs> here's the way this went down, Zach. I know Zach's disappointed because I was Zach's hero. I kind of figured it from an <laughs> Alabama fan anyway. We, getting, uh, we got our butt handed to us by LSU. I'll agree to that. They beat us, basically, in the second half. I done got so disgusted. They, Glory went to bed and Maddie before halftime. <laughs> gets down there, two minutes to go, they get ready to kick the field goal. I said, I can't take it no longer. I got to get up and go to church tomorrow. I'm going to be so disappointed. I got to say, shut up. I can't do it. I go to bed with two minutes to go in the game. Gloria wakes up, says, well, why? I said, oh, we're getting beat or got beat, whatever. You said we lost. I don't want to talk about it. Shut up. I didn't you say already, that. You already wrote off the press. I just said, I feel, I'm, I, I got to go to bed. I'm sick. I can't. I, know we're we're gonna, I know we're going to pull it out. You never give up on the Crimson Tide. He's Shut up, Zach. loser. An hour later, or two hours later, One she wakes me up, and I'm going, woohoo. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she said, no, not that. The game. <laughs> and she says, I thought you said, man, I'm going to I said, what? Look at my phone. So she gets up, and I get up. I got 15 messages. Roll Tide. Come up and said, what happened to Donnie? Is he jumping off the building? I bet I've watched that a hundred times since then. But anyway, <laughs> we'll talk all about it this morning. Plus, we'll talk election day. Mayor Ronnie Marks will be with us later on this morning, too. We'll talk about the new city council being sworn in last night when the mayor gets here. Frank is on the phone, 2304988. Y'all made notes. Jamie, where'd you get that cool-looking shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Roll Tide. All right, let's get the weather right now. We got, got a lot of mom. We got a lot of boy. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, thanks, Tom. Uh, we got. Thanks. We'll go to Glory right now with the weather. Find out what's it going to be for this election day, 2012. The boys are talking about how uh, beautiful uh, AJ's mom looks. They've been looking at photos this morning. But anyway, let's move right along. 46 yeah, degrees. Fine. I'm sure she is. I just on hope AJ's it's from the neck down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a, well. I say a beautiful day. Get out and vote today. We do have 50 percent chance of rain that starts at six o'clock this morning so you will see some rain already some rain out there this morning in some areas high temperatures around 57 with your low of 38 and yes only 20 percent chance of rain tomorrow so hopefully a lot of that will move out today 58 for your high 34 for your low then the rest of the week we don't have any rain to worry about for several days and temperatures staying a little bit cooler there 34 37 not too bad though hope everyone remembered fall back i guess you know it by now i forgot Sunday. about that too get up next morning it's quarter to six i said i gotta get up we gotta Go to church. She said, we didn't fall back. I said, well, I'm getting up anyway. I got to read about it. I got to sell this Bama stuff. <laughs> Zach, I know I let you down. I'm such a disappointment. Right Let's give a shout out to Dennis right. Black and Coach Pew this morning, too. Yeah, right. yeah I watched it with him. Going crazy. I had to give Coach Black a shout. He made some good chili, so I had to give him a Yeah, we saw him Saturday downtown. It's a veteran's parade. But I know, I'm a loser. <laughs> I can't believe it. How can you? But man, I love the game. Of I, that I, but two things I was about to say, but two things I don't want her to wake me up for. Oh, hush. To make breakfast and to make sure... Eat, a few, uh, eat, a, eat some crackers. <laughs> eat some crackers or uh, uh, Alabama one. Oh, I yeah, thought it was going to uh -huh. be a picture of AJ. Well, I'm never, two minute drive. I believe that's the first game I've ever done that. A AJ said, Zach, I couldn't handle the press. Listen, AJ, after the game, said we practice that every third. I couldn't handle Line up on the 20, and they, and they go up against Jesse Williams and those guys. So you know they're ready for that. I mean, he had probably the worst game he has ever played. Yeah, and that last and Don, drive, wait a minute. you got to give, you gotta give credit to the LSU played their best Absolutely. game I in the most hostile environment. We played our worst game. But why is it every time we play a quarterback, it ain't done squat? No. Like Stephen Garcia, hey, from now Mettenberg, but they look like freaking Tom Brady. He, he had a Stephen Garcia moment. <laughs> because because right. you're, you're, your secondary I mean, come on. Your is young. I, I just tell you, I don't, I don't, your secondary, Texas A&M, I hope y'all beat them because they're talking smack already. 
But I can tell you what. So how was it? How was it? How was it in the uh, Huddleston household? It's actually, my wife was really surprised because I was so calm. But you know, yeah. the thing was, it was a great game. There's a lot of lot to look forward to. Heavy. We have a real young team. We only had six starters from last year's team on that. I know y'all feeding game. them. I don't want you feeding them running backs down there, but they weighed about Ooh. 300 pounds. They hard to bring down. You know, that? that was that was the right. mistake I think. Now, What'd you think, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to sleep, and I'll put it that way. I mean, it was a great game. LSU had a, had our number most of, all night, and I'm just thankful that last drive put it Yeah, there. I got up with it there and said, my father said, I got to find it. And then, of all things, she recorded it. It recorded only the half, last half hour 19 special that they were running. So last I, minute. I, I can't even find the game. I know. Man, I I smart me, yesterday morning got to go to crunch time, and they were showing it. Yep. And it's on YouTube, too, so we'll play that numerous times. Well, the good thing that. I got out of it was because, you know, my stats was like every time Alabama wins, the, the Democrats win the presidency, and when LSU wins, Republicans win. So I said... Yesterday I put it on Facebook, of course, Zach saw it, and I said, you know, the good thing about this, LSU won on the field, Alabama won on the scoreboard, so I think Romney will win the, the, the election. Now we'll talk more about that in just a minute. Yeah. They say we're Wash, the Washington Redskins lose yes, on Sunday. Yeah. Republican gets Republicans get some Republicans get some gonna talk so we got about, good two things. We're, we're going to talk a lot about that during the program this morning. First, you've got some uh, news out of Ardmore. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess it's probably, I mean, Coach Brown, Shannon Brown announced he's resigning. He's going to become assistant principal. At Center of Technology, I believe, over in uh, in uh, Huntsville. Okay. So, congr congratulations to him. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's where he was. Well, uh, high school season's over except for the playoffs now, right? Yeah, there'll be Tanner's a lot of the only one in the county. I do believe it's in the playoffs. Yeah. They're ranked yeah. number one. Yeah, Parcel. Parcel I, I think you're gonna see a few changes that around the county wow. and maybe Athens too. You know, there's a lot of rumblings. So what I are you mean, trying to say? I'm just saying there could be some life. movement mm -hmm. in the coaching ranks. Just like the SEC, Joker Phillips. He's out. Fired. Yeah, Phillips yeah. out at Kentucky. Who else will lose their job? Oh. Um, Derek Dooley. Derek Dooley's going to lose his. You, hey, they, Gene Chizik. Yeah, I, th I, I hope they stick with Chizik for at least another year. I mean, right I, now, I, for, think, I think they will. I, I think they will. And the reason why I think they will because they just signed his contract last year, just renewed his contract. And that's a lot of money. They wait one more year, they get a little bit more off of it. But yeah. Yeah. Ten million buyouts. Yeah, that's a lot of money. I mean, you know. But anyway, it's down, yeah, it's down to $7 million now. But back to Bama. Zach, where does that put us? We're going to go all the way. That is our moment. That, that we bought the field goal against Auburn, to, Tennessee two years ago. I said, we're going to win the like, national championship. Like Wes Neighbors said, Wes Neighbors, he's having a hard time right now because his son's oh, back up fullback. That's you and his son's a grad assistant right. in Alabama. I know both of them. He said, ball he said Bama Neutral. fans, he said, that place, he was there Saturday night. He said the crowd was into it all the time. He said, y'all got to come back Saturday in Tuscaloosa and do like that and appreciate what those guys said. We haven't been this good consistently in 40 years. And he, he's going back to the early 70s. So, you know, those Alabama Johnny things. football is going to present quite a problem for us. Oh, yeah. We're 11.5. Yeah, yeah, By the way, Alabama plays at 2.30 this week on Channel 19. Next week we play on Channel 54 at 11.21 is yeah. kickoff. 2.30. I'm kind of yeah, glad. I, I like them 2.30 games. I stay up. <laughs> See, I like them. 11.20 <laughs> games, get there and get back home. Of course, I like night games. I'm up I'm because, well, Ooh, I'm boy. There. you got to like night games. Been tough. Like, so. All right, who's going to get USA Today's got things this morning? Zach's got coach of the year. It says here the league with the highest profile candidate is the Southeastern Conference. Stupid. That's what it said USA Today. There are plenty of registered voters out there who'd rather swallow Drano than watch the SEC win another national championship. But if Nick Saban can get his Alabama team reelected to another visit to the White House, that's a considerable feat. It's a short list of men who've done it. Hail to the chief. They've got Oregon's coach. Uh, Bill Snyder should Bill be the one. Snyder. Bill Snyder. I mean, I mean, I mean, he's in the middle of nowhere. He don't have a coach that, 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 that we have an SEC. All right, right now we've got four under. Undefeated. Who's going down? You got more than four undefeated. Well, Louisville, you can't Louisville. But yeah, out. but see, Louisville, Louisville can end. Don't don't count Louisville out because let me tell you something. If Kansas State loses and Oregon loses, or and or and or Alabama loses and Notre Dame loses, Louisville will jump Notre up. Dame, Rick? It, now, shout out that oh, oh, okay. team we're alive, not, man. Sorry, Rick, but we were all pulling for Pittsburgh. I was, I was, I was for Notre Dame. No, no, no. Here's what got me. I had an Alabama fan come up to me during the, after the game, and this was on Sunday. He goes. Man, that Notre Dame sure is one lucky team. I'm like, 
<laughs> Wait a minute. There's another lucky team that got by by the squeak of the brow. Well, Notre Dame should have got beat. I was for them. I didn't want them to win and give LSU extra incentive. Well, you want to talk night. about a bad call? That was a bad call. And that's that's pass interference. Pass yeah. yeah, that wasn't and that. that was blatantly not called, and that just ticked me off because that was a bad call. But they called pass interference. He didn't even touch it. Right, right. But a lot, lot of us remember back in the 70s when Notre Dame used to mm -hmm. hand it to us. So a lot, of, a lot of people I know of would like to play it, but <laughs> they keep saying if it got, keeps going where it Notre is, Oregon's hiring the Harris Pose and some of these other ones. They it's going to be Oregon and Bama if both win. If Oregon goes undefeated, Oregon's going to natural. Oh, yeah, and Bama's all white. Anybody else there, what, uh, touchdown favor against Oregon if we played them? But uh, right now, I'm worried about Texas A&M. One, <laughs> one, <laughs> one game again, one game at a time. Again, let me come clean. Yes. Loser. I didn't make it through the whole game. I was disgusted. Didn't make it. You went Loser. to bed. You didn't think that you didn't make it. You didn't too many diet, <laughs> too many diet <laughs> Pepsis. Oh, don't blame it on that. You got mad. I got mad. All right. What well, you do is you blame it on her. You they say. They whipped us. No, you say. Well, she went to bed first, and, and, then and she I just got tired of being by said, myself. So hey, baby, baby's asleep. Then she said, "Honey, let me wake you up." And yeah. I said, "All right." Yeah. Come on, win something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, but thank everybody who sent me a mail. Don't forget you can get me at my email address, too, countryrover at gmail.com, <laughs> especially if you want to advertise with us here. we got a lot of other big things happening. I'll let you know about them as soon as you fill me in on how we're going to make <laughs> I got a right. question for I you. I hope Donnie and Murray do are doing think, well this morning. And i got a question for all y'all. Do y'all think that this Alabama-LSU game is the new rivalry, oh, yeah. the national it's rivalry, the biggest rivalry in America. I mean, because it's the most watched game. Yeah. There is more people. There was over 10 million people watching that game the, and this they weekend. It was the highest rated the, game on the CBS. And it has been for the last several years. That's a war. For the last uh, last several years, especially regular season, mm -hmm. I can't count. All right, let me talk about a couple of things. The Veterans Day Parade was this Saturday. Dusty McLemore's daddy was the yes, uh, Grand Marshal. Nice. Talk about that in just a minute. Do a little bit of news. We'll have video of that coming up, too. But don't forget, Veterans Day is Monday. It's a holiday. A lot of y'all off work, but it's actually Sunday. Oh, you can go up to Zeke's place right up Pizza Inn, mm -hmm. right up there in Ardmore Highway 53. If you are military, Donnie, you can get a free meal. If you're military or non, or non active military, free meal, free buffet all day Sunday at Zeke's Pizza Inn right there in Ardmore 53. All you can eat buffet free to all military and non active military, which leads me to this next Dear Abby. Oh, no. I want to get your opinion on this, Donnie. <laughs> Anybody here. Y'all probably know people like this. Faking vet service. Oh. Said I got a friend, Dick, who wears veteran hats, Vietnam vet, proud to be a Marine, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That implies he was in the service, so you'd think. The problem is he was never in any branch of military at any time. He claims he's honoring them by wearing their hats and logos. But when he goes into a restaurant or other place that offers military discounts, he always asks about them. Oh, no. And has never refused the offer of, or admitted he wears the slogans only to honor others, even though he was never actually in the service. I come into contact with real military service people all the time who deserve, deserve to wear these hats. And I've heard a couple of them ask about what to do with Dick. Can you print any responses? It's not like me wearing my Marine sweatshirt. No! He's going in like well, see, here's the deal. Thing. He's acting as if That's he awful. was in well, the military. He, 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 is, he is trying to portray that because he gets that discount. If, if, if he was saying he was honoring them, he'd say, no, I'm not, I haven't been in the military. But didn't the Supreme Court rule it's that it's not, not illegal it's to not pretend It's not illegal to pretend that you were in the friggin' service? That's sad. That's the <laughs> I pretend on the TV station at ZTV. Well, you can get away with that. <laughs> I can certainly put you in. in, in I, bet, I bet you could. No, there's that a lot of, lot of places yeah. that give extra discounts, especially in Huntsville, 10% or whatever. Oh, yeah. Or what clothing or anything. What if you pick up, if you pick up someone's I, lunch? Even have, I never even asked yeah. for a discount for the. Uh, but I mean, that's just sick. Yeah, I mean, you got people bad. like Dusty's daddy who was a World War II. Prisoner of War. On D Day and everything right. like that. Man. Did you ask for senior citizen then? I don't ask for anything. I, and, and I'm a vet. I don't ask for nothing. But I told you. Also, shout out, I was in Florence yesterday, our good buddy over there, my Mickey. Lord's buddy Mickey Haddock was sworn in as the new mayor of Florence. He was also a well-known SEC official, Zach, you probably yeah. remember him as oh, that. Absolutely. We'll have an interview, exclusive interview with him coming out. I was the first one to interview the new mayor yesterday, <laughs> and also Saturday, I was getting fired up for the game, so I drove up to Elkmont to the Hilltopper Society you first did. annual festival downtown. Got some entertainers up there at Bonner Black, the Barnstormers out of Decatur. Spent my killing time waiting on the ball game. Little did I know I never would make it to the <laughs> Uh-huh. Loser. Just like, how would you describe me? <laughs> a fair weather fan. fan. I, I think I walked in. I, I, I apologize. I called you an idiot, but I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I just go, huh? That's just no, you feel sorry for me, don't you? Yeah, man. I was like, there's sorry, no way bro. of all people, as crazy as you are, I, I, I couldn't handle that. <laughs>
I couldn't handle crazy it. Crazy Alabama. I didn't mean crazy, crazy, but crazy. I figured you'd fanatic. be jumping in the pool. But that's what Barbara <laughs> yeah. said. Hey, but it was cool. worth it when I got up. So yeah, I want to give a shout out. Donnie, we're going to talk a little politics coming up in just a moment. Tom. Before I go to break here, Zach, you got to go. Thanks for coming up early this morning. Roll Tide. We're going to put it on them. That's right. Hey, can I give you one yeah. real quick? <laughs> you cannot control what happens to you, but you can control your attitude toward what happens to you. And in that, you will be mastering change rather than allowing it to master And you. I did good. All right. I did good up until I got kicked out of the soccer game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to do a political Almost thing in a private. moment, but go out and vote today. Yeah, get out and vote. You, y'all, say Romney's gonna win this. You feel that he's gonna take it? Okay. Three three hundred delegates. I, I, well, I got him at two ninety seven, but and and it could be a lot no, worse. I'll take because it. I'll take if he that wins, too. I, I didn't give him Pennsylvania, Ohio. He still won. If he wins Pennsylvania, Ohio, it's a you think we win. win? We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. Tell we'll do a little news when we come back again. Zach, thanks for coming up. Roll we'll tide. We'll take a break on a Tuesday morning. Mayor Ronnie Marks should join us later on this morning too. I got plenty of video coming up also with the Veterans Parade and everything else. Right now, y'all, hang on.